Hey, Roman, I got your text. Great, I've got my hands full at the moment with these charming money lenders I know. Maybe you should come to the cab office and help me out? I'll see you soon. Please excuse. Roman, how's it going? You know, cousin, things have been looking up since you got here. If things are looking up now, I hate to think what they were like before I arrived. <laughs> I hear you're working with little Jacob. He's a good man, Nico. A good man. I can't tell what he's saying most of the time, but I like you. That is your bad English, Nico. Once you've been in America for longer, you will understand him perfectly. Sure I will, Roman. Later on. Dimitri, should I do this? Should I kill this boy for Mr. Faust? Just one second, Mikhail. It's nobody. I cannot talk just now. Do what you have to do. Nico, it's your cousin. You want to shoot some pool? This isn't a good time, Roman. I got another type of shooting on my mind. Nico, it's your cousin. You want to shoot some pool? Shit, Roman. I can't talk now. Damn. Nico, it's Roman. We should go and get drunk together. Roman, I'm nervous enough about driving a truck full of explosives around the city for Mikhail Faust. He's out of control. Anyway, I'm sorry, but if I get drunk with you and then drive this thing, I'll definitely blow myself up. I'll catch you later, cousin. Well, I'm a it's me, Jacob. Do you want to get some food? Shit, Jacob, I'm sorry. I'm already hanging out with two friends. I've kind of got my hands full looking after them. Uh, we should do something soon, though. That's my cousin Nico! Yes, it is, Roman. You're right. So, what's happening in your world at the moment? Met anybody interesting recently? Other than the community leader and drug dealer that Mallory introduced me to, neither of whom are doing too good no more, yeah, I guess I have met some interesting people. Please, tell me you're talking about twins and bleach blonde hair and decup titties! You're a wild man, Envy! I'm afraid I haven't met these women of your dreams, Roman. No, I was referring to a deputy police commissioner called Francis McCreary, an Irish hood called Pecky, an African-American drug dealer who calls himself Playboy X, some outlaw biker guy named Johnny, and the doctor who buys dead bodies so he can sell the organs. If you're losing money at the tables, you might be able to sell some body parts to him for a quick buck. How much does a kidney go for nowadays? <laughs> I'm kidding, NB, kidding. Sounds like you're having a crazy time. Suck you soon. You've crossed the line, Dimitri. I got your message, Dimitri, you piece of shit. You're a dead man. A dead man. Before you die, I'm going to cut your face off. Then I'm going to hang it on my wall to remind me what a lying, cheating, treacherous scumbag looks like. Goodbye, friend. Sorry, Brucey, man. I'm about to go see some naked women, but this time it's business, not pleasure. We have to hang out another time. See you. Roman, how's it going? Have you seen this bank heist on the news with me? That's some crazy shit. I bet you wish you pulled off a job like that. Who says I did? You're shitting me, NB. No fucking way! Who'd you do it with? This fucked up Irish family. Well, some of them. There are four brothers. Two are gangsters, one's a cop. And the other is a heroin addict, ex-freedom fighter. And then there's a sister. A sister? That sounds more my speed than these crazy brothers. I can tell from your voice that you like her cousin. Are you two doing it? I've got to go, Roman. I'll talk to you soon. I put Dwayne out of his misery. You did what you had to do, Nico. You got yourself that money. Good for you. You want me to come around? You took down Dwayne, Nico. I see your face. I see the cat that killed my mentor. Dwayne was like a father to me. I can't be around you no more. It's over between us. Now, I don't want no beef, but now you and me got some. So it's best if we just stay the hell away from each other, man. Shit. You nothing but a cold-hearted killer, man. I mean, 
Where's the love? Where's your heart, homie? Man, you ain't cool. You try to find something to live for, man. Peace. Gazin, how are you? All the better for hearing your voice, Envy. You sound down. Are you okay? Not really. I got caught up in an argument between the drug dealer and his drug dealing mentor. I had to choose who'd win the argument, and I chose the young guy. Playboy X is his name. Now he's paid me off and is treating me like an asshole. So? He's treating you like a rich asshole. Who cares? Enjoy yourself. Spend the money on a clean hotel room and a dirty college girl. Call me if you want to hang out afterwards, cousin. Dwayne, I dealt with Playboy. You should know that he asked me to end you first. He was going to pay me a lot of money to do it. Shit, man. He was a good kid back in the day. Always hungry, though. Always wanted more. Maybe I should have seen it then. Kept a closer eye on him. You can't predict what people will become. You're right. I can't give you no money for helping me, son. But I got the deed to Playboy's fancy silk sheet loft. You can have it. Hey, man, I seen where you're living. You should take it. Nah. It'll make me remember the kid too much. Maybe you'll stop by my place sometime, though. Hang out with me. I don't have many friends left, you know. I'll give you a call sometime soon, Dwayne. Later on. Hey, Roman. Hello, Nico. How's it going? Killed anyone recently? Now that you mention it. Shit, NB, I was joking. Who was it this time? This drug dealer, Playboy X. He tried to Don't get me to get rid of a friend of his Thank for him, but uh, I liked the friend better. Nico, shit. I hope this guy is paying you good for saving his ass. He just got out of prison and he hasn't got much, but I made the right decision. Ah, uh, uh, Good, NB. I'll talk to you later on. Nico, there you are. Tell me what's happening in the exciting world of the gun for a hire. Who's paying the bills at the moment? At the moment, it's the Mafia. Shit, Nico. You're involved with one of the five families? Not quite. I'm working for a family out of Alderney called the Pegorinos. This guy called Ray Bocino has had me working with this guy from the Lost Biker Gang called Johnny and running around after these diamonds he stole. It's been a fucking hassle and all for nothing. The Lost? Those guys are meant to be really dangerous, cousin. I heard there was a war or something on between the Lost and the Angels of Death. You don't want to get caught up in that shit. Take your cut of the diamonds and get out of there. There is no cut of the diamonds. The ice got jacked when we tried to sell them. This Dominican-looking guy shot the place up. Ugh, my heart goes out to you, cousin. I'll talk to you soon. I've been taking a lot of heat for you, Nico. Start doing me some favors. I'll start doing that when you start doing me some. I thought I told you to lay low. To keep your head down. Hey, sometimes I just can't help myself. Johnson's so big you can't keep it in your pants, Bellock. I told you to be calm. I'm sorry. I'm excitable. As they say here, you suck. Cousin, how you doing? I'm in the gentleman's club. I think you'll really get into this. You should come down. I don't know if you can hear it, Roman, but I'm in a helicopter. Yes, that is the crazy shit I am having to get up to after you introduced me to Michelle. Or Karen. Or whatever her name really is. I don't get it. She she a government agent or an undercover cop? What is she? Shit, I don't know. All I know is that her friends have got me by the balls. Someone's got me by the balls too, cousin. I'll send you a peek. Just a second here, Derek. I gotta speak to one of the sergeants. Hey, what's the problem? I thought you were gonna make something happen for me. I'm not so sure about it. What's gonna make you sure? Want me to give you a raise? That might help. All right, then. Call it a bonus. Make this happen. You want me to give you a raise? It's not the money. I just don't feel right. Then start feeling right. I got you by the balls here. Don't you forget about that.
Warm Rasta. Yo, you wanna go down at the strip club, Mr. Mensch, yeah? No can do, Jacob. I've got a girl with me and uh <laughs> I don't think it would be appropriate. But let's speak soon though, huh? Cousin, how's it going? Roman, can I ask you a question? I thought this time would come, Nico, but to be honest, I don't know how I'm so successful with the ladies. They just love me. That wasn't what I wanted to ask you. I wanted to know what it was like to be kidnapped. Were you an asshole to the people who took you, or did you behave yourself? I did everything they said except for give you up, cousin. I was scared shitless. That's what I thought. I've had to kidnap this girl, and she's a fucking nightmare. Shame on you, Nico Bellic. You should know better than this. Who oh, is she? What, what, what'd you take her for? I'm working with that Irish family. She's some mobster's daughter, Gracie Ancelotti. Nico, shit! You're fucking with the mob! The Ancelotti's are one of the five old families. I, I, I don't know nothing about this. Give her back as soon as you can. I've got to go, Nico. Hey, Roman. You ever wonder if things are just coincidence or if everything is all planned? You mean like when you sleep with two girls on one night, you turn out to be mother and daughter? I mean like this Dominican-looking guy shot up a deal I was trying to make. Then I kidnapped this girl, and we're handing her over for these same diamonds, and this Dominican-looking guy is there again. So he steals the diamonds at the deal and then has to give them back for the girl. What's the big deal? It's not as much of a coincidence as the mother and daughter. Thanks for putting things in perspective, Roman. Later on. Wow. Hello there. Behaving yourself, are you and me? Always, Roman. As much as I can, at least. When I'm doing the bidding of these alderney gangsters. What do they like, in me? The gangsters? I'm working for this guy, Phil Bell, at the moment. He's better than Ray Bocino. Paranoid about wiretaps and helicopters, but uh, he seems legitimate. He should be paranoid. The feds are out to organize crime in a big way. Stay disorganized would be my advice, Nico. Don't let them get you for racketeering. I need to work with these guys. Hopefully they'll be able to find Darko Brevich for me. I can't think who else would. Speak to you soon, cousin. Nico, my cousin, give me some tales of the Liberty City Underworld. I'm curious. Maybe if you give me tales of a womanizing gambling addict. <laughs> That's a low blow in me. Seriously, what are you up to at the moment? I've been working for Jimmy Pegorino, the head of that elderly Guido family. Yeah, the head of the family. Is he a big-time gangster like in the movies, then? Wants to be. He keeps talking about being powerful, about getting on the commission with the five big families. I just hope he's got enough power to be able to find Darko Brevich for me. I hope you'll be able to relax when you do finally find him, Nico. Speak soon. Roman, how are you? Fantastic, cousin. Mallory is going to make me the happiest groom on earth. How are you? Good. I feel like I'm getting close. I've been working for John Gravelli. John Gravelli? The head of the Gambetti crime family? Shit, Nico. This man is very dangerous. This man is nearly dead, cousin. He knows the government agent that Michelle forced me to work for. They say they will give me Darko. I don't know how long I waited for this, Roman. It is nearly over. Don't get ahead of yourself, Nico. Be careful around this man. Talk to you soon. I don't see nothing wrong. Nicky! Brucey, baby! How about you and me get some serious car block, bro? Shit, man, I can't. I'm already on my way to a Korean place. Some other time, okay? Roman, good to speak to you. I needed to talk to a friend. Why? What's wrong? I think it's my conscience. I don't know. Your conscience? Have you killed too many people, Nico? Perhaps. That man who I worked for, Ray Bocino. I was asked to kill him, and I did. He was a cockroach, a pest. But I don't know how long I can keep on dealing in death. It must be difficult, Nico. Maybe there is another path to take, a less violent one. I'll speak to you soon, okay? Roman! NB, what's up? I don't know, this and that. I've been hanging out with little Jacob. You two are friends now. This is great. I thought you'd get along. Is that because we're both violent criminals, cousin? No. <laughs> it's because you both get along with me. You're more than just a violent criminal to me, cousin. You're a human being. Speak to you soon. Nico, my cousin, tell me I was right. Right about what? Right about Brucey. He's more than just a steroid-fueled maniac. He's a good guy. You've been hanging out with him. Maybe you were right about him being fun to hang out with, but he's crazy. The roid rage has screwed up his head, so I think I'll just be hanging with him. 
No more work. Okay, that's cool. Play around and be. Middle-aged people? I slept with two guys and the subject of marriage. Hey, oh man, what's up? Not much, Gus. I've gone on a date with this girl I met on Love Me. She's called Kiki. She's a lawyer. That is a useful profession considering your job, NB. Good work. Remember to make it clear that you are a red-blooded animal, though, and you won't be tied down to a monogamous relationship. You are a balik, remember? You can't help playing the field. You don't want her getting jealous. That won't be a problem, Roman. We're not serious. I'll talk to you soon. Roman, you'll never believe it, but I met this girl on crap list. Who is the lucky lady? Some trust funder called Alex. I don't really like her, but uh, it's something to do, isn't it? It's all sport, NB. Have some fun with her. Play it around, cousin. I'm proud of you. Cousin. NB, you are certainly my cousin. I hear you were seen out on the town with a sexy young girl. Who is she? Her name is Carmen. I met her on Love Me. The best place to find a woman, NB. No connection to your friend. No chance of your girlfriend finding out. Enjoy her, cousin. Later on! It's finally official. Since the moment I met Mallory, I knew that she was the only woman for me. Apart from those other ones you screw, right? No, certainly not. They were just distractions from my one true love. I proposed to Mallory, Nico. She said she would marry me. Now all we need is to find you a wife, and we can all settle down happily ever after. I'm working on it, cousin. There's this girl I like. She's called Kate McCreary. I'll invite her to the wedding! You don't even know her, Roman, so please, try not to embarrass me. Congratulations on the engagement. Thank you, cousin! Hello? Nico, it's Kate. Hello, Kate. How are you? I'm fucking awful, if you must know. Please don't say that. Why? I can't do this. Can't do what? I like you. I like you too much, but I know you. I know the life you lead. What does that mean? It means... It means I'm going away. It means I love you, but I won't bring children into this world to be raised without a father. It means... I don't know what it fucking means. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about Roman. I'm sorry about the life you led. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I sent you an email. Goodbye. Sorry, brother. The milk went sour. You're going to have to drink your coffee black. I've made provisions for this, brother. Get me on the outside line if you are still interested in working for me. I am afraid those eggs got broken before we could uh, make an omelet. I'll see what I can do about this. Reach me on the hard line if you want another pass at a job, brother. Suspect in a, uh, the limo. turkey flew the nest before we could have our Thanksgiving dinner, brother. I hate to disappoint. I've made provisions for this, brother. Get me on the outside line if you are still interested in working for me. A red sock got in with the white wash. You're going to look like a dick. I'll see what I can do about this. Reach me on the hard line if you want another pass at a job. Brother. 